Resonance area link established. Connection normal. Systems green. How are the two of you doing? Your vitals are fine, but... Hey, no problems here. But, yeah, this is inside my head, huh? Pretty scary in here. Please seek out and eliminate all memory nodes in the area. Roger that. Okay, let's start poking around a bit. Whoa! To hell? Wait, is this what Keith was talking about? Memory node confirmed. Please eliminate. Ah, Saul! Reese! Zeke, Neil, Keith, there you are. We're about to head out. I heard there are valuable god art parts around this area. Let's give it our all. You're as fired up as ever. We'll do what we can, okay? Those voices. They're my big brothers. Reese? What are those? <laughs> These are playing cards. You can use them for all sorts of games. I'll show you, Neil, and Keith a fun one next time, okay? <laughs> Don't tell Saul, though. <laughs> I miss them. They're both so strong. They play tricks on me, too. Saul! Reese! No! Don't leave me! Listen. Zeke, I have a favor to ask you. Huh? Be a big brother to Neil and Keith in our place. Yeah. And then one day they died to save my life. I made an oath then that I'd take care of Neil and Keith. Resonance area work detected. New memory node confirmed. Please eliminate the target. Let's take care of this. Memory node confirmed eliminated. Current resonance area is clear. Are either of you hurt? Nope. We're both fine. Glad to hear it. Initiating disconnection sequence. That really takes me back. I didn't have a chance to talk about this until now. Back then, five of us, Neil, Keith, me, and our two older brothers lived together. This was before Pennyward. Our older brothers seemed like parents to us, since we never knew our actual parents. And not just for us three. They looked after other kids who were in trouble, too. I'll always carry a heart full of respect for those two. <laughs> exactly. I thought I'd be able to live with my big brothers forever. But we were out scouting one day, and they died protecting us. They passed down an important duty to me. They said from then on, I had to keep Neil and Keith safe. And I've done my damnedest since.
We went from place to place, living day to day and scraping by somehow. Neil and Keith were both kids, so I did whatever I could to protect them. I still ended up captured by Pennyward and forced to become ages, though. <sighs> Sorry, that got a bit depressing. So, in order to progress, we'll have to improve our resonance sync rate, was it? Just give me a holler when you're ready for a mission. Two thousand years later. Second entry into Zeke's resonance area. Your mission is to clear out any memory nodes you find. All right, let's take care of it. There we go. You rascals are going to take an aptitude test for us. Identification number PW-01429, we'll start with you. Hold on a minute. My brothers are still kids. Take me, but let them be. Such nerve on these kids. You got no rights here. Move it. Damn it. I can't let it end like this. I made a promise to those two. I said I'd take care of my little brothers no matter what. This is from when we were brought to Pennyward. Did you hear the result on the youngest of those three brothers? Yeah, he's useless to us. The fact of us in age, but getting rid of him would be a pain. Well, we could keep using him and let nature run its course. Keith was always sickly, but they made him take the test anyway. Come on, Keith. Eat this. Huh? But that's your portion. Don't worry about me. Just eat it or you're gonna waste away. Thanks, Zeke. I'm so sorry. I have to save Keith from this building. There's nothing I can do. I couldn't save him from them. Be careful, you two. Multiple memory nodes confirmed. Slight warp also detected. Nose. eliminated. Mission successful. <sighs> Zeke, is something wrong? Oh, no. I'm fine. We're just heading home. I figure you already know this, but ages who can't go into the Ashlands don't have jobs. In other words, they're defective goods. Keith was on the edge of being scrapped as an age. But he had way more up his sleeves, huh? Even in that state, he studied his heart out, picking up everything he could about technology. In the end, he carved out his niche all by himself. And he wasn't just helping me. Before I knew it, Keith was helping out everyone in that prison. And I couldn't do anything for him. 
Crap, now I'm throwing a pity party for myself. I shouldn't dump that on you when you're already tired from testing. Anyway, let's keep at it together, okay? Two thousand years later. Connection to Zeke's resonance area established. This is round three. Let me guess. Hunt down and wipe out any memory nodes we find. <laughs> you got the hang of it. Take care in there. You bet. Well, let's take a look around then. Identification number PW-01437, Neil Pennywart. Grade A. A real gem, aren't you? Was that from when Neil had his aptitude test? sold off not long after we came to Penny Ward. Hey, Zeke? Where's Neil? Will he come back soon? <laughs> they couldn't save him. My two little brothers are ages and Neil has been taken away. Resonance area work detected. Uh, another one? Let's take care of it right now. Multiple hostile memory nodes detected. Ready yourselves. Memory node responses are all confirmed clear. The instabilities are increasing slightly with resonance area depth. But the mission is complete. Starting disconnection sequence. I feel bad, showing you all my worst moments. And not just with Keith. I couldn't save Neil either. I swore an oath to my brothers. But I couldn't keep it. It's always eaten at me. I kept thinking that I should have done more to keep Neil safe when he was sold off. Wasn't that my responsibility as his big brother? It's all in the past, isn't it? Sorry, I'm gonna call it a day. You should rest up too. Boss, there you are. Um, the thing is, I'm a bit worried about Zeke. I thought you might know something, so... I get it now. I figured he might be fretting over nothing, but... 
I understand what's going on. Ever since our big brothers passed, Zeke has been obsessed with watching over us. We haven't said it out loud, but we're really grateful for everything he's done. I have an idea. We'll need to find a good time to talk to him. Could you keep an eye on him until then, boss? One eternity later. Oh, heck of a fight! I'm giving you my main dish at dinner tonight as a reward. Sorry to drag you out here all of a sudden. I just need to refresh my head. Let's start moving. I've been thinking for a long time. I was never able to do anything for Neil or Keith. I couldn't save my little brothers the way my big brothers saved me. It's not too late. There's got to be something I can do for them as the oldest. But I've never been smart, so I don't know what to do. Do either of you read me? I'm sorry, Zeke. I know I said I'd keep the radio off. Hey, don't worry about it. So is something up? I've spotted a large origami response moving toward your area. It's an unexpected job, but please intercept it. Keep your eyes open, even if there are no enemies around. Got it. Let's squash this thing. Right on target.
That's taken care of. You're back, are you? Oh, hey. What are the two of you doing here? Uh, the thing is... Hold on. Do you both have a minute? Huh? Why are you being all serious? Uh, you see... Oh, come on, help me. Oh, hell, fine, I'll talk. Let's talk. Listen, dear little brothers. I have something important to tell you. I could never work up the courage until now. I've been doubting whether I've been a good big brother to the two of you. I haven't been able to look after you the way our big brothers looked after us. I've felt that way for a long time. Is that what this is all about? I saw you getting all serious like that, and... I... Huh? <sighs> Shut up! You've always put too much of a burden on yourself. What? Saul and Reese told us something a long time ago. Zeke has a huge sense of duty, so the two of you need to help keep him on his feet. What? They told you that? Oh, wow. That makes a lot of sense. Those two were always worried about you, Zeke. We have you to thank for where we are today. Both of us. So stop worrying about us, okay? I never thought my big brothers would say something like that to my little brothers. Thank you. You talked to them, didn't you? <laughs> I could tell from the start. Well, the deepest section's all that's left, right? To tell you the truth, the thought of facing myself like this scared the hell out of me. But now, with you here, I've got nothing to be afraid of. Let's get ready and get to it. This is the deepest area, huh? We're finally here. It's scarier than ever, isn't it? Who knows what'll pop out? Let's stay alert. I can't do it anymore. I can't be the big brother for Neil and Keith that Solid Reese were for me. Too much for me. I'm a failure as a big brother. I thought that before, yeah. I always wanted to flee when you promised your boss. Yes. What I swore to them was too heavy for me. But not anymore. I'm gonna do my damnedest to be the best big brother I can be. now. We've got a family to support us. 
to lend our strength to. I don't have to be afraid of my big brother's legacy anymore. What's going on? No way. Core engage time? <laughs> what a rush! You're history! I'm getting rid of you right now! How many times are you gonna save the day for me? You heard me in there. I wanted to keep running from my promise to my big brothers. <laughs> I hear you. Thanks for looking out for me. Oh, there they are. Hey, Zeke. Hey, boss. So the whole thing was a success. Congratulations. Come on, it was nothing. Don't be so cheesy. Oh, we should be heading back. Huh? Is something up? Well, uh... Keith and I went out exploring, and we found data for the latest season of Booga Rally. We thought we'd watch it once you were back. The data analysis should be done soon. You guys... How? How could you keep something like that from me? 
Uh, I mean, you had a whole lot going on, and we kind of wanted to surprise you. Morons! You know that the latest season of Boogarelli is more important than any of this! The thrill of discovery, the, the tension of the analysis, that's all part of Boogarelli! Oh, to keep this a secret from your big brother who looked after you all those years. Neil, Keith, as punishment for this, no Booga Rally for either of you. The latest season goes to the eldest first. It's tough being his little brother sometimes, huh? <laughs> That's for sure. But he's still the best big brother we could ask for. <laughs> totally. But we won't let him get away with watching the latest season first. Absolutely not. He can't pull rank on us like that. We'll stop him from hogging it, no matter what it takes. Roger that. Let's move out, Neil. Remembrance Day for the Calamity. Remembrance Day? Hmm. How do I put this? It's a day where we remember and try to comfort the spirits of those lost in the Calamity. When the Ashlands came, countless people died. And many are still losing their lives today. We offer prayers on this day, hoping that those lost may rest a little more peacefully. Have you ever heard the story of the Three Sages of the Calamity? The details are obscure, but rumors never stop traveling, even in days like these. They say three brilliant scientists caused the Calamity by accident in an experiment. Goes to Heidenstam, a master of transmission engineering. Josiah Kwan, an authority on nanomachines. And lastly, an expert on retro oracle cells, and also the very first god eater, Soma Shiksaw. No one knows what became of these horrific criminals, not even if they're dead or alive. There are no records or witnesses. Most people assume everything was covered up by their supporters. I don't know. But they caused the greatest disaster in history. They can't have escaped unscathed. Only the perpetrators can tell you that. The experiment was on an unprecedented scale. Their purpose had to have been something huge. Horrific criminals. Bad guys? Hmm. It's strange to say this, but... We're here today because the calamity happened. I like to look to the future rather than lament the past. Let's keep up the fight. 